Hi, I'm your host, Cookie, and if at any point in this game, I say we're gonna decoy ourselves on every question. Hence, avoid anything that sounds like wrote it, unless it's the truth. Oh, and your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> this is round one, and that means you get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your made-up answer. And you'll get a thousand for finding the truth. <laughs> And everyone gets a defibrillator, which removes all but two answers on any question. Save it for a tough one. Select a category. Okay, here's your first question. Between 1978 and 1980, Frenchman Michel Lotito slowly ate a blank. Now use your device to type a lie that might fool your opponent into believing it. If you can't think of anything in time, use the lie for me button for half the points. Do it now. Okay, here are your choices. Find the truth and touch it on your device. Okay, what did everyone pick? And like a rookie, he kept trying to cram down carry-on luggage that obviously wouldn't fit in his mouth. And these incredible bluffs somehow went unselected. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Maddie Thomas started the odd and very specific dating site called Singles with Blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, take a look and find the truth. <laughs> Let's see what everybody selected. You can search by age, marital status, and proximity to an emergency room. And nobody picked the other lies up there. Alright, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Harriet Watt University's School of Textiles and Design created a fabric that emits the smell of blank. Write your lies now. Okay, find the truth. <laughs> All right, who picked what?
But have fun explaining that to the cop who pulled you over. And that means... Now it's round two, where all point values are doubled. And don't let that defibrillator sit unused. It disappears after round two. Select the category. Okay, here's the question. Police in Dixon, California often have to respond to 911 calls for the same dumb reason. People in the town keep blank. Input your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> Alright, let's see what everybody picked. And that's it. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. The Beach Boys song, Never Learn Not to Love, was actually a rewriting of a song called Cease to Exist, which was written by, strangely enough, blank. Enter your lies now. Where's the truth? <laughs> okay, let's take a look. And that's it. Nobody else's lives got picked. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. For the low fee of $35,000, Swiss company Air Foxville will create a completely unique, one-of-a-kind blank for your baby. Write your lies now. If you can't think of something. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. All right, who picked what? Okay, well, you all drop the ball. If there's one thing you can trust a company called Air Foxville to do, it's name things. And that means this lie didn't get picked.
This is the final fibbage. One question left for all the marbles, and everything is worth triple. Good luck. Take a look at your final fibbage question. The name of U.S. President Calvin Coolidge's pet raccoon. Type in your lies now. Okay, there's a truth out there. Find it. Okay, what did everyone pick? And nobody fell for some of these ingenious lies. Hey there, I'm Cookie, and if you're here to battle aliens in a dystopian version of Los Angeles, you probably will not enjoy this game, but welcome. <coughs> Two of you, is this Matthew and Gunnar Nelson? This is Matthew and Gunnar Nelson, isn't it? Oh, and uh, anyone else can get in and join the audience. Yeah, you can play along for your own personal score, and you can like your favorite lies. Let's do this. <laughs> This is round one. You'll get 500 points for fooling your opponent with your lie. And you'll get 1,000 for finding the truth. And you've got a defibrillator. Use it to remove all but one lie and the truth. And just one defibbing per game. Select the category. Okay, here's your first question. The last words that convicted murderer Robert Charles Comer spoke before his execution by lethal injection were not all that poignant, but they were unique. His last two words were simply blank. Input your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? <laughs> All right, let's see what everybody picked. That was a complete whiff. <laughs> and we'll just leave this last lie to die. <laughs> Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. If frontiersman Daniel Boone had his way, he would have given Kentucky a spooky sounding name. He wanted it to be called blank. Write your lies now. Okay, here are your choices. <laughs> Let's 
Let's see what everybody selected. And you all missed it. And now you know how the Louisville bat got its name. Think about it. And look at what we have left. One single lonely pitiful lie. All right, pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Science author Maria Jesus Portolatine has a strange hypothesis which states that eating blank can strengthen your immune system. Enter your lies now. Okay, where's the truth? All right, who picked what? And nobody picked any of these other lies. This is round two, which means all point values are doubled. And don't forget to use that defibrillator if you haven't already. It's gone after round two. Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. Sir Francis Bacon got sick and died after conducting an experiment in which he stuffed a chicken with blank. Type in your lies now. Okay, which one's the truth? <laughs> okay, what did everyone pick? In other words, natural causes. And that means some of these didn't get picked. Select a category. Okay, here's the question. In 2012, a woman in Gibsonton, Florida, made her unique relationship official when she married a blank named Bruce. Enter your lies now. Okay, find the truth. Okay, let's take a look. Here's something you might be interested in. Unfortunately, their marriage has been a little rocky. And the rest of the board goes unselected. Uh -huh. 
Time to pick a category. Okay, here's the question. A 1988 cult horror comedy, Killer Clowns from Outer Space, sported the tagline, In space, no one can blank. Write your lies now. the truth. <laughs> well, don't you feel foolish? <laughs> the ice cream of the future. And the rest of these lies didn't fool a soul. It's time for the final fibbage. Just one final question, and it's worth triple. Good luck. Okay, here is your final fibbage question. The name of the San Francisco-based company that helps you find and rent sex dungeons. Input your lies now. Okay, here you go. Find the truth. <laughs> All right, who picked what? I would work there, but I hear you have to sign a gag order. And we're done. Oh great, our new interns have arrived. I'm your boss, Greg. I'm great. Here's your desk. You're going to have to share for now. Maybe you each get a little butt cheek space on the chair. Let's get you started with a quick team building exercise. There is too much stuff on this desk. 
Let's smash something. Uh, the only problem is that three of these four items are important, so only one can be smashed. One of you has four buttons on your device, one for each item on the desk. And the other has several rules that determine which of the four items is worthless and can be smashed. You will need to work together so that the person with the buttons knows which one to push. Great! Working together, you smash that picture of Trevor's family. Oh, Trevor used to work at this desk, but he doesn't need that picture anymore because, uh, he died. I think this team is ready for some real work now. Here at Bomb Corp, we make lots of bombs, but we are very disorganized. Sometimes the bombs just start going off by themselves. We're not very good at making bombs that don't start going off by themselves. When that happens, the bomb's instruction manual will automatically appear on your devices, as well as buttons that let you cut wires. But be careful, the rules for how to defuse the bomb are spread across all of your devices. And all of you may not have the buttons to cut the wires, so you'll need to work together. Oh no. Here's one now. Defuse this bomb before time runs out, or it'll explode and kill us all. celebrate by catching my improv show tonight. Uh... Great work on that bomb. Ah, oh, man, here's another bomb set to go off. Would you mind making sure this one doesn't blow up and kill us all? because I'm still afraid! Well done. I think you've earned a break. So, like I was saying, Megan, you think he's gonna die, but then whoosh! Quicksilver saves him! <laughs> Were you talking to me? Okay, back to work! While you were on your coffee break, the bombs really started to stack up over here. I'm Linda. I know Greg is your boss, but don't question my authority. Defuse these three bombs before they explode and kill me. <laughs>
Hey, good first day. You know we're not paying you, right? Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. You'll each receive a list of names on your device. Pressing the buttons one at a time, put the names in the correct order. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know. It sucks. Good luck. <laughs>
Oh, thank God. I still haven't kissed a girl. Isn't it weird how some rooms are big, but other rooms are small? Rooms come in different sizes. Is that on purpose? You're the most interesting person that I've ever met. Sorry about that filing. Blah, I hate the alphabet. Don't you? Oh, I have a much easier task for you. Defusing these three bombs before they kill everyone in the office. Use this bomb. It might be more complicated than you're used to. I hope you don't kill us all. I still haven't even finished reading Harry Potter. Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs>
Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> Now the only ticking time bomb I have to worry about is my heart. <laughs> You're getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Good luck. <laughs> so lucky to be alive we should all admit who in the office we'd like to kiss so that's how i spent six years of my life in a cult and lost this toenail holy crap all i said was how's it going man do you hate filing as much as i do so many letters oh i have a much easier task for you diffusing these three bombs before they kill everyone in the office <laughs> Hey, welcome back. You made it through your first day, which is a big deal because the last guy died on his first day here. <laughs> Poor Trevor. Anyway, now that you know the ropes, defuse this bomb before we all die. <laughs> getting so good with these bombs, but unfortunately, I have a much more daunting task for you. Filing. Oh, and if you get something wrong, uh, the filing cabinet will blow up. <laughs> yeah, I know, it sucks. Good luck. <laughs>
gonna live forever! All I'm saying is, I think we would be better off if the government installed high-tech tracking devices in our brains! Yeah, I guess... I'm right! And you know it! Oh, sorry about that filing. Filing is the worst. Oh, I have a much easier task for you. Defusing these three bombs before they kill everyone in the office. to celebrate with Doctor Who and s'mores. Hey, I'm Megan. Greg wanted you to take care of this one last bomb before you go. It's a little more complicated than what you're used to. Don't screw up. I have dinner plans tonight. <laughs> I thought you would have blown up by now. I guess I can take down that ad for more interns. <laughs> See you tomorrow. Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
things are looking up. Except for this next bomb that might kill us all. Wednesdays, am I right? Oh, also the instruction manual for this one was written by children, which is probably a workplace violation of some kind. <laughs> Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs>
Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Things are looking up, except for this next bomb that might kill us all. Wednesdays, am I right? Oh, also the instruction manual for this one was written by children, which is probably a workplace violation of some kind. <laughs> The custard-filled, chocolate-covered, not the cream-filled. I think I'm allergic to fake cream and jelly and glaze, but mostly fake cream. You're a weird kid. Hey, I'm Gavin. Greg got stung by a bee and he's having trouble finding his EpiPen. Ugh, bad stuff always happens to him on Wednesdays. You should probably defuse these three bombs before he gets back. <laughs>
Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bombs to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> afraid I'd die before I told everybody how I think Game of Thrones is gonna end. Well, things are looking up. Except for this next bomb that might kill us all. Wednesdays, am I right? Oh, also the instruction manual for this one was written by children, which is probably a workplace violation of some kind. but they are mighty comfortable. Those are called yoga pants. I'm calling HR. Have we met? Probably. Uh, just in case, I'm Gavin. Greg had to run home to change his pants. He really hates Wednesdays. You should probably defuse these three bombs before he gets back. <laughs> Turns out great. 
Thank goodness this horrible Wednesday is finally over. Time to go home and cry. Oops, almost forgot. One last bit of finally needs to be done. Wednesday, my least favorite day. Come on, Greg, keep it together. Anyway, you know the routine by now. Two bonds to defuse, blah, blah, blah. Don't kill us all, blah, blah, blah. <laughs> Goodness, I was already wearing a diaper. Well, things are looking up. Except for this next bomb that might kill us all. Wednesdays, am I right? Oh, also the instruction manual for this one was written by children, which is probably a workplace violation of some kind. Tail. I know people say I yell too much. Oh, no, they don't. Yes, they do! Hey, I don't think we've met yet. I'm Gavin. Greg is pooping. He told me not to tell you that, but eh, you should probably defuse these three bombs before he gets back. <laughs> 